Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial series on network analysis made simple. In this tutorial, we shall solve the questions on network solutions from IES examination. Friends, in this problem, we are required to find voltage V0. We find that there is a current source of 3 amperes in one of the branches. Observe that this is a branch current in that branch. In such situations, it is better we solve this problem by branch current method. We find that the voltage across one ohm is V0. We also know that in passive element, the current will flow from a higher potential point to a lower potential point. So, current of V0 divided by 1 ohm equal to V0 amperes will flow in the direction shown. By applying KCL to say junction node A, current in another 1 ohm will be 3 minus V0 amperes in the direction shown. By writing KVL for the loop, we get 3 minus V0 into 1 plus 3 V0 minus V0 is equal to 0. By solving this simple equation, we get V0 is equal to minus 3 volts. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Friends, this problem is the simplest one. We are required to find the power delivered by two volt source in the circuit shown in figure. We know that the power is delivered by the voltage source when current flows away from the positive terminal of the source. Let the current delivered be I amperes. Hence, let's find I. We find that 2 volt source is directly connected across 1 ohm resistance. So, current through it is 2 volts divided by 1 ohm equal to 2 amperes in the direction shown. We also see that the current of 1 ampere is entering the junction node. Note, it is a branch current in that branch. By applying KCL to junction node, we get I plus 1 is equal to 2 amperes. So, current delivered by 2 volt voltage source is I equal to 2 minus 1 and is equal to 1 ampere. Hence, power delivered by the source of 2 volts P is equal to 2 volts into 1 ampere equal to 2 watts. Hence, option B is the correct answer. Friends, this question also is very simple. In this question, we are required to find the value of I when Vh is equal to 16 volts. To find this value, given data is the value of Vh is equal to 0, when I is equal to 4 amperes, let V1 be the voltage across this 2 ohm resistance. Using the given data, we can find the value of I as we find that V1 is equal to 2 into 4 equal to 8 volts and I as is equal to 8 volts divided by 2 ohm equal to 4 amperes. So, Is is equal to 4 plus 4 equal to 8 amperes. To find the value of I, when Vs is equal to 16 volts, the circuit drawn by inserting the values calculated is shown in figure. By applying KCL to the junction node, we get current entering Vs is equal to 8 minus I amperes by writing the KVL for the outer loop we get 
2i minus 2 into 8 minus i minus 16 is equal to 0. By substituting the values and solving the simple equation, we get i is equal to 8 amperes. Hence, option B is the correct answer. Friends, in this problem, we are required to find the value of I in 5 ohm resistance in the circuit shown in figure. Observe the given network. We see that there are three independent loops. Note, there is an ideal current source in one of the branches. So, if we choose mesh current method of solving the network, we get answer for one mesh current straight away, that is I1 is equal to 1 ampere. So, let I1, I2 and I3 be the unknown mesh currents assumed as shown in figure. Now, we know I1 is equal to 1 ampere, meaning we need two balance equations, say one for loop 2 and another for loop 3. By writing the balance equation for loop 2, we get 11 into I2 minus 2 into I1 minus 4 into I3 is equal to 0. By substituting for I1 equal to 1 ampere and rearranging, we get 11 into I2 minus 4 into I3 is equal to 2. Similarly, by writing the balance equation for mesh 3, we get 6 into I3 minus 2 into I1 minus 4 into I2 plus 5 is equal to 0. By substituting for I1 is equal to 1 ampere and rearranging, we get minus 4 into I2 plus 6 into I3 is equal to minus 3. By solving the two simultaneous equations, we get I2 is equal to 0 and I3 is equal to minus 0 0.5 amperes. We know I1 is equal to 1 ampere. So, I in 5 ohm is equal to 0. Hence, option A is the correct answer. Friends, in the circuit shown in figure, Is and V are unknown. We are required to find I when Is is equal to 2 amperes. I prefer to solve this problem using branch current method. It is given that I is equal to 1 ampere for Is is equal to 0. Using this data, we can find V. Note, when the current source Is is equal to 0, it is as good as open circuited as per the open circuit concept. So, let us open it as shown. Now, we find that 1 ampere current will flow through two 1 ohm resistances as shown. So, V is equal to 1 plus 1 ohm into 1 ampere equal to 2 volts. But we are required to find I when Is is equal to 2 amperes. Indicating these values, the circuit drawn is shown in the figure. By applying a KCL for junction node A, we get current in 1 ohm is equal to 2 minus I amperes. Also, note that 2 volt source is directly connected across 1 ohm. So, current in this resistance is 2 volts divided by 1 ohm is equal to 2 amperes. By writing the KVL for inner loop, we get 1 into I minus 1 into 2 minus I minus 2 into 1 is equal to 0. 
by solving this simple equation we get i is equal to 2 amperes hence option d is the correct answer friends this problem is easy a network in the form of black box is given the load resistance r and the current through it i is shown in figure we are required to find the current i when r is equal to 3 ohm to find current i data given r 1 when i is equal to 0 p is equal to 20 volts when r is equal to 0 i is equal to 10 amperes to solve this problem let us use Thevenin's equivalent circuit as shown in figure using data 1 the circuit drawn is shown in figure we know that when i is equal to 0 the load branch is open according to the open circuit concept so p thevenin is equal to 20 volts using the data 2 and substituting v is equal to 20 volts the circuit drawn is shown in figure since r is equal to 0 10 ampere current will circulate in the loop hence r thevenin is equal to 20 volts divided by 10 ampere equal to 2 ohm now to find i when R is equal to 3 ohm, using V is equal to 20 volts, R thevenin is equal to 2 ohm, and R is equal to 3 ohm, the circuit drawn is shown in figure. From the figure, we get I is equal to 20 volts divided by 3 plus 2 ohm, and hence we get I is equal to 4 ampere. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Friends, this problem also is very simple. In this problem, test results conducted at the star connected load are given. We are required to find the individual values of star connected resistances Ra, Rb and Rc. By reading each statement, we find that we can get the relation between Ra, Rb and Rc. Consider statement 1. The resistance between A and B with C open is 12 ohm, meaning Ra plus Rb is equal to 12. Consider the statement 2. The resistance between B and C with A open is 22 ohm, meaning Rb plus Rc is equal to 22. Next, consider statement 3. The resistance between C and A with B open is equal to 18 ohm, meaning Ra plus Rc is equal to 18. By solving these three simultaneous equations, we get Ra is equal to 4 ohm, Rb is equal to 8 ohm, and Rc is equal to 14 ohm. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Friends, in this tutorial, we have solved few Interesting IES examination questions. During the next tutorial, we shall meet and solve some more interesting problems. Hope this presentation has kindled some of your thoughts. Thank you for watching.